Hello everyone! This is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Welcome to the One Bitcoin Show. Today is November the 18th, 2020. I'm outside in beautiful Salt Lake City. Strong hand. Buy and hold in motion. Five-digit realm. Value your wealth in Bitcoin. One day closer to an all-time high. Offended by selling. Compete, don't complain. Be a unique beast. This is where the big boys play. It's only the beginning. Buying over crying. Personal responsibility is a new counterculture. Hello, my elite friends. Check out the links below. This week in Bitcoin was awesome. This past week with Gordon Einstein and Tommy. We've got the best guests in the space. This week in Bitcoin will be this Friday at 2.30 p.m. East Coast time. And yeah, yesterday's show, late last night, I did a show. All you fiat freaks were getting excited about $18,000. I got excited too. Pound that like button. Be sure to check out yet last night's, it was like an hour show. It was insane. It rocked. So, hey, and let's mess with the YouTube algorithm. I suggested this last night. It worked well. Just leave a comment in the comment section. That messes with the algorithm. The algorithm messed with me. Now we're striking back by pounding that like button, leaving all sorts of comments. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can say anything. You can talk about my hair. You can talk about my shirt. You can, It says pound that like button. B on this shirt. Yeah. It's great. Talk about, you know, my energy level. You can say anything in the comment section. Talk about Bitcoin. All right. I hope you're playing this at 2x, people, if you're watching this tape, which uh, most of you are. Uh, and I want to, so let's, Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro is straight up saying he ha, he wants a conservative media empire, okay? And so, yeah, that's great. Do your thing over there in Tennessee and Florida. He walks the walk. He was tired of California. He went and he moved to Florida and moved his business to Tennessee. Awesome, Ben. Ben, I hope you're watching this. People spread the word to Ben Shapiro that I'm I'm addressing him right now because he's got to be proactive about the situation that he addressed on his show. Okay, in the middle, he in the middle of sh the show, he brings up some news that is old to us Bitcoiners. Okay, um, he's being censored more than ever on social media. Okay, that that's not a shock, dude. And he thinks one day conservatives uh, may have the uh, tra traditional banking might be uh, cut off to them. Okay, that uh, there's there's going to be an issue where you know maybe he, he won't be able to use a bank or you know, other other people deemed uh, offensive by the uh, popular culture or the, the social justice warriors that the financial institutions will be guilted into saying no we're not going to do business with Ben Shapiro we're not going to do business with uh, you know Glenn Beck who, who, whoever it may be uh, and you got to prepare in the mi so it's all news to us and the sad part is he says that the banks will one day ban conservatives, but he does not bring up the proactive solution they already have, which is Bitcoin. He He's going to learn the hard way, uh, most likely, if he doesn't get into Bitcoin now, okay? Like, one day, he's not going to be able to use Bank of America anymore, uh, and that, that will greatly inhibit his business, all right? And you're aiming really high here, Ben. You're aiming really high. So you got to take precautions right now, not be reliant on these banks, and start understanding Bitcoin. Start doing, you know, paying your, uh, the, the, the people who help you out, your employees, the people who set things up, pay them and pay them in Bitcoin. Just understand, understand how it works. Now, if you make it the fuel of your empire, the financial fuel, of your media empire. It will be good for Bitcoin. It will be good for you. You're not going to have to, it, 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 and it will spread the word to others out there who feel marginalized by uh, mainstream society that, hey, you can say whatever you want to say as long as you're in the Bitcoin overlay. So Ben Shapiro, I am inviting you to the uh, the Bitcoin overlay. And in, your, in this video that I uh, linked to below that I'm talking about Ben. Uh, you also mentioned you also show a clip of someone in the mainstream media ripping on Parler, 
And that's just a sign of the times. Like they're saying, "Oh, it's so wrong for conservatives to go to parlor. They're gonna, they're going to fail over there. It's, uh, they're going to be in an echo chamber." And and they're trying to convince. Uh, they don't want. They don't want people to have an alternative to the main social media uh, big boys out there. The three, the three big guys: YouTube, uh, and Facebook, and Twitter. But parlor is a legitimate thing. We have a crypto parlor hashtag out there. And on Ben Shapiro's show, he showed a clip. They are worried about, they're trying to guilt people into not joining Parlor. Dudes, be unique beasts. Go to BitChute, go to Parlor. But on Parlor, I am uh, Bitcoin Meister on there already. And the crypto Parlor hashtag is uh, gaining momentum, no doubt about it. And I, I'm getting more followers over there. So it, it, it is awesome. Now, in Focus is the New IQ uh, news. I, I came up with this term, uh, comprehensionism. <laughs> Ken and the, the, it's, it's a philosophy. It's a social media philosophy <laughs> of mine. And it's very simple. Uh, can you explain what I just explained? Or are you not paying attention? Um, or are you just, or is it just complexity worship on your part? If the answer is yes, if you can watch a video, uh, or, or read a tweet or, or, or read a post somewhere and you can explain what the person just put out there then you're learning and you're you have focus and you're refining your talent stack okay so, and that is a good thing and so yeah comprehensionism is pretty it's a pretty pretty simple philosophy it's focus focus just don't sit there and drool uh, because you're not you're not accomplishing anything. Focus is the new IQ. There are plenty of people out there, super high IQs, and uh, they they can uh, watch one of my videos and just uh, pay attention to only to my shirt or whatever. And then you ask them what I talked. They won't know what I talked about. They were looking at my shirt. They were looking at my beautiful face, my beautiful hair, or whatever. So, focus is the new IQ, guys. Comprehensionism. We'll we'll talk more and more about it. But ask yourself after every video you watch. Okay, I have. Can I explain what Adam just told me? Okay, can I, you know, reference some of the things he was actually talking about? The the and everything is linked to below, by the way. Uh, all right, we're we're winding this up here. The outside part of this video. We're gonna go. There's gonna be a part two. The inside part of the video. Um, the average median. Th there is a great site out there. Uh. And it's linked to below. And Bitcoiners are going to be really since the, the fiat price is going up a Bitcoin uh, lately. Uh, Bitcoiners are going to be interested in this more than ever. What, what I'm about to share with you, this link uh, below, it is a site that shows the average median uh, top one percent and all the United States net worth percentiles in uh, 2020. So household net worth percentiles for the United States in 2020. And so you can see where you fall now, and you can set a goal for yourself, all right? Don't be envious of the top 1% or the top 0.1% of, of household uh, household value in the United States. What is it called here? Uh, yeah, of, of ne household net worth. Now, it's not individual net worth. It's household net worth. Uh, but you as an individual might make up your own household and see that, hey, if you have 1.21, if you have $1.2 million dollars, in, in, in household net worth, uh, you're in the top 10% of Americans, right? Of 10% 10, 10 of uh, households in America. Then the 5%, the, the evil 5% is $2.5 million in uh, net worth. Then 3% is the, the, the top 3% is over 4.6 million. The top 2% maybe is uh, six point, over 6.5 million. And then those evil 1%ers, baby, one step closer, one day closer to being a one percenter, um, 11.1 million dollars in net worth. To be a 0.5 percenter in 2020, a household needs a net worth of 17, over 17 and a half million dollars, and a top 0.1 percenter needs over uh, 43 million dollars. So I'm shooting to be one of those uh, uh, top 0.1 percenters, or who, who who knows what I uh, what I am already in there. Obviously, I'm somewhere in there. Who knows? Uh, but it's it's a great site. Uh, you can just aim high, baby. So now I'm going to go back inside. And by the way, follow me on lbry.tv at Bitcoin Meister also. And uh, yeah, we're productive people. We're striking back.
buy Bitcoin. Leave that in the comments section everywhere you go where there are a bunch of unproductive people complaining. Just leave buy Bitcoin. Don't get into a political argument. But so now I'm going to go back inside. I'm going to talk about West Coast money. I love that saying, West Coast money. Uh, Tezos, weirdness. Uh, Adam Curry, who is a unique beast, who is a podcast guy, who's trying to get uh, figure out a new... Uh, paradigm for podcasts where people get uh where people pay on the lightning network okay uh there's some some new uh bitcoin mining uh the cred the cred uh pro bankruptcy i'm going to talk about it all when i go inside oh and drunk drunken miller again uh yeah all right there's something else i wanted to say yeah drunken miller was the one that brought up the term west coast money i, I love it okay i'm adam meister the bitcoin meister the disrupt meister stay uh stay tuned here for part two the significance of the world's greatest and most respected money manager, Stan Drunkenmiller, saying just now that he is long Bitcoin cannot be overstated. That has removed every obstacle for any hedge fund endowment to invest. Thus says Raul, you know, the guy with the, yeah, the guy who jumped on the Bitcoin is real popular and interviewed uh, Dan, uh, Dan Tapiero. What's his name? Raul, Raul Paul, Raul Paul. Ron Paul, Raw Paul, whatever his name is. Okay, so yeah, he's pedestaling. Uh, he's putting Stan Druckenmiller on a pedestal, but it is, it's one step. It, there's an evolution here. Okay, Stan Druckenmiller was not a fan of Bitcoin recently. All right, and now he owns it, and now he's long it. Okay, he's long Bitcoin, and I, I like the point that yeah, it is an obstacle for hedge fund mon hedge fund managers endowments. They're traditional type of dudes. They need the seal of approval for some super rich dude like this. Okay. So that's unfortunate for them that they couldn't get in when we got in on it. But whatever. If they need Stan Drunken Miller's, uh, and I'm saying his name a little wrong there, Stan Drunken, Drunk, Drunk, Drunken Miller, whatever. Um, yeah. If they need his seal of approval, then great. I'm not pedestaling him. I'm just bringing you the facts there. And here's a quote from him. It could be an asset class that has a lot of attraction as a store of value to both millennials and to new West Coast money. And as you know, they got a lot of money. They got a lot of it. Excuse me. I love that term, new West Coast money. <laughs> now, most people don't are very envious of the new West Coast money people. Uh, and, and the new West Coast money people can be kind of annoying. They're they're wealthy. They got their money through tech, but they want to hurt their their SJW types too. Like they're very much they're CUCKs basically. They're willing to like beg uh, groups that hate them to to tax them and stuff. Yeah, that's their business. But new West Coast money and hey, they're welcome here. New West Coast money. You you like to punish yourself with uh, you, you feel guilty about being wealthy. Come here and spend it and, and buy Bitcoin. That's awesome. And Yes. Uh, so, speaking about <laughs> speaking about insanity, we, we learned the lesson from BSV today. Okay, and this is something you should already know. Known. They had an issue. Okay, another reason to stay with the parent chain that's Bitcoin and not defect to a minority fork. Security, more eyeballs on the code, and more patient deliberation lower likelihood of a completely preventable failure so they had a completely preventable failure over there i don't care it's the bigger the bigger lesson is that bitcoin is the next bitcoin uh, all these other pretenders they're pretenders you need the rock you need the eyes you need you know you, you can create these little forks or whatever and make it they, them seem big they're not they don't have the eyeballs they don't have the brains bitcoin is the best clearly well, not 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 clearly to the eighty percenters. My lord, they're all trying to get the next Bitcoin, <laughs> from Ego Coin to BSV. I mean, what's next? And okay, so I told you I jo I joined uh, and library live LBRY is the same thing as Odyssey. Apparently, I don't know if everybody knows that yet. Douglas Tuman was on my show before. He's the Monero guy, and we talked about how he was running for Congress as a Republican in, in Long Island. And he actually got pretty close. I thought he was, I thought he would lose, but he, he came close. So that there's a story about that. If, if you want to link to that, good job, Douglas, Doug, you tried, you're the narrow guy. You put it out there. You almost got rid of some uh, ridiculous uh, Democrat on Long Island. 
you did you did well for yourself, man. I mean, of course, I prefer I prefer Bitcoin to politics. I, I mean, I prefer Monero to politics, for God's sakes. All right, so this dude, Adam Curry, who's a big politician, dude. Wow, he shares a last name with an ex-girlfriend of mine. Pound that like button for that insider information there. Too much insider information. Uh, he, This Adam Curry dude, uh, he wants to uh, create a, a podcast 2.0 platform with sphinx.chat that's linked to below. Okay, and he announces a Bitcoin like a Bitcoin Lightning Network integrated podcast 2.0 platform. So he just doesn't want it. He he did it. All right. And I say experiment, compete, don't complain. You don't like how podcasting is now. You don't like how YouTube is like now, like me. I like how, what, what YouTube does, how it can just do thing, random things like this. He's creating a system of podcasting with the Lightning Network where you can send people lightning tips during their podcasts where you can just, the only way you can listen to a podcast is if you pay a little bit of Lightning uh, Network uh, BTC there. Good. That's great. Can the Lightning Network keep podcasting decentralized is a question. Monetizing via Lightning may be a critical component to creating an environment in which podcasting remains sufficiently decentralized. That is linked to below. That's innovation. Remember I had Denver Bitcoin on my show? He's He was a great guy uh, doing some mining related stuff that involves uh excess gas from oil mining, turning it into Bitcoin mining. And there's a company out there called uh, Crusoe Energy, which has nothing to do with him, but is based in Denver, I believe. And they have a link below that is a, a photograph, I believe, from North Dakota. He's, it says, beautiful shots from the bacon, the back end today. Uh, we're helping our partners our partner mitigate 900,000 cubic feet of flared gas per day at this site. A win for the operator, a win for the environment, and a win for Bitcoin. So, I mean, they're doing what Steve Barber does in Canada. They're doing it in North Dakota, it appears. I had not never heard of these people before. And I think it's it shows that a lot of people want to do this if they don't have anything to do with Denver Bitcoin. But yet they're, they're in De Denver. It's a growing freaking space. So many opportunities. You turn oil into a Bitcoin, you do marketing for Bitcoin, you do uh, lightning uh, payments for podcasts with Bitcoin, all sorts of creativity. Well, and we're going to talk about it at the end of the show, the, uh, what, what are they, uh, real quick, what's what's the name? I'm skipping around, but I want to give him credit. Uh, Coinbeast Media. You know, you can, you can make your own media outlet with for Bitcoin. Uh, to follow Coinbase Media, coinbeast.com. We'll talk, he's in motion, so I just wanted to mention them. But we'll get to them at the end of the show, too. Now, going back, Swan Bitcoin, uh, they interviewed Michael Saylor. You can't get enough of Michael Saylor. He's the, he values his wealth in Bitcoin. He knows Bitcoin is the next Bitcoin. He knows that Ethereum does not compete with Bitcoin. And he says, which is the best crypto asset? Bitcoin is the best crypto asset. What's the second best? There is no second best. This idea of 60% dominance is BS, ridiculous, stupid. There is no real competitor. I agree with that. I agree with that. Ethereum is the next Ethereum. It is not competing with Bitcoin. There is no other store of value cryptocurrency out there, okay? There's nothing that compares with Bitcoin. Ethereum is the number two cryptocurrency, though. He might not say that, he, but, but it's it's not the number two Bitcoin. Okay. It's, it's, there's only one Bitcoin and uh, he put it crassly there, but Hey, people love the way he speaks and people love when certain people throw out curse words right here on the uh, Bitcoin Meister channel. Uh, you do, I don't know. Uh, I don't curse. Don't curse. There've been a couple slippages in, in the past, just like a couple or three or something. Uh, it's a family friendly channel, baby. Pound that like button for being family friendly. Now uh, we coin desk. They, they try to be, I get this email from Coinbase. I don't know why I am even, I get these random emails from them, okay? But someone at Coinbase says, the title of this email, it's like, do they, do they own Tezos over there? All you need to know, it says Tezos, all you need to know for the new and improved baking feature that generates higher return on investment. 
special compensation for the first 1,500 users to take the plunge. Those of you interested in qualifying among these first 1,500 should stay updated. And they gave a link. I mean, it's like they're, do they, have, do they have a deal with Tezos? I mean, this is the corporate crypto media and they're free to do this, okay? But I mean, you gotta, you gotta be aware. I mean, so some of their articles when they're talking about certain altcoins of each are they really trying to pump them? And I mean, this seems like they, their hand, we, you don't, break, I simplify it for you. I don't, I don't go with the flavor of the month or the, that's the former flavor of the month. That, that's a past, the past its prime flavor of the month, okay? Uh, right here, you just get it simple. Bitcoin is the next Bitcoin. And so, man, that, that, that is, uh, that was a weird email to get. So there's, I, I, I okay, I, we'll, we'll leave them away. Uh, how is Biden bad for Bitcoin? He's not. <laughs> it's relatively neutral. Um, I mean, he'll print money faster. So that's maybe he's better for it, But basically, Biden is nothing to worry about. No, no, no. All the political current events are nothing to worry about uh, in terms of, of, of for Bitcoin. OK, Bitcoin. Unfortunately, many retail investors have no idea what is being done with their dollars or their Bitcoin when they are deposited or posted up as collateral. They there are some quality institutions in the industry, yeah, whatever, but also some that aren't. And what's he talking about there? Cred is the first big Bitcoin inter intermediary to file for bankruptcy in the US. Oh, so yeah, you, they, they were giving people interest on their cryptocurrency. And Caitlin Long sums it up real nice. She says, uh, Cred's bankruptcy will be a mess due to the legal clarity due to the lack of legal clarity in De Delaware regarding treatment of Bitcoin under commercial law, including how lenders can perfect the security interest in Bitcoin. This is going to make Wyoming the obvious choice of law for crypto contracts. All right, so she's, she's got to get a plug in for Wyoming there. But the point is, if you were silly enough to uh, give your money to cred, and you, you thought you were going to get interest that way. And now you think you're going to get your Bitcoin back. You're in for some long legal mumbo jumbo, Mount Gox style, like never getting it back. Dude, why, why you, this is why you don't complicate things. Why you get, you keep it simple. You store that Bitcoin, you create, you, you collect the crypto dividends. That's the interest you get on your Bitcoin. You don't need a third party that can go bankrupt because of some issues to uh, hold on to your, your wealth because you never know after that point if you'll ever get it back again. And uh, yeah, even even if you do one that's based in uh, Wyoming, <laughs> you, you never know what can happen either. Control your own private key. Now, but this one was not based in Wyoming, she says, if God forbid it ever happened in Wyoming, it would be you'd get your money back faster, maybe, or part of your money. You know, with bankruptcy, you know, you know, they rank you on who, who deserves to get first. Now we're going to go back. We're going to stick with the government here. Warren Davidson, who's a congressman from Ohio, he uh, had an article right before, on Halloween, and I missed it. But he says Bitcoin changed the world. It's time for Washington to adapt. So we are now living in a time where a, a, a sitting congressman can write about Bitcoin in, in a pretty positive way, in a knowledgeable way. Now, who knows if an intern wrote it or whatever, but there you go. There, there's a sign, sign of the times that we're living in. And remember, check out this week in Bitcoin. We had Guy Swan on, Old Ugly Goat, and Nick, best freaking guest in the space. At, you can see that techbalt.com, T-E-C-H-B-A-L-T, or disruptmeister.com. Even this show will be soon at disruptmeister.com. Uh, that, that's the magic of disruptmeister.com, where you can watch all my shows. It doesn't matter where the show originates. I, I can uh, put it there. I try to simplify things for you people. So that, that over 1,800 shows at, at my archives over there at disruptmeister.com. And we talked about cred. And so I'll leave it. I'll leave it on a positive. Well, I'll put this note. <laughs> Hey, Adam, I wanted to inform you that our Twitter page is up and it's CoinBeast Media and you can view some of our blogs at CoinBeast.com. We're actually in the process of redesigning our site 
and are excited to provide unique educational content for Bitcoiners. Well, dude, Coinbase, Coinbeast Media, it's linked to below. Check them out. Dennis uh, does work with them and stuff. So um, he's in motion, they're in motion. And you, when you contact me and you're in motion, I'm going to talk about you on my show. I'm Adam Meister, become Meister, Disrupt Meister. Subscribe to this backup channel. Subscribe to my main channel. Go over there. Check out the archives. Check Twitter. Subscribe to me there. Subscribe to me on Parlor. It's everything is linked to below. So actually read the darn links. It's your homework. You'll learn some stuff there. Don't be an algorithm slave.